He'll be really so good. So Ho three Ian underscore TVK says yes. Zoe Saldana is the only actress which has been in two movies with over two billion dollars in box office. That's a great Avatar, point. Avatar, Infinity War. G, what are you gonna say? Well, and this is the one that I think you posted on. Actually, I, I sent this to you because I found this on someone else's page. I, I originally found this on Star Wars underscore general page, but you had already made a post beforehand when I sent it to you. You're like, yeah, I already have something ready. Yeah, that was, I believe, from the Superhero Hub. I talked to him. Yeah, okay. So, these uh, great, all you Marvel fans that have been waiting 10 years to get Infinity War out, we got it. It was amazing. And now it has finally gotten to the $2 billion club. Uh, $2 billion. This was as of a couple days ago. Two billion, uh, two million five fifty nine thousand three hundred thirty one or whatever. It's, it's bonkers. It hit the two billion. Uh, above that is Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Uh, above that, at two point one eight seven billion, is Titanic. And going to the point that was made by um, the who was the person? Zoe Zalal on a question. TVK. TVK. Uh, Avatar, which starred Zoe Zaldana, two point seven eight seven. Nine six five billion dollars, which is bonkers, but I am so happy that Infinity War made that. And the reason I'm super happy is the fact that it was a 10 year run for it to not get to this point, I think would have been really crappy. Can I see that real quick? No, go for it. So I posted this little I'm gonna turn slide. on a light or something because this is really messy with me. So I posted a little slide about this, you know, saying that Infinity War was number four, and uh, people. You know, said somebody said somebody commented because you know I think it's like fifty million behind Star Wars: Force Awakens. Somebody said, "Can somebody please give Infinity War fifty dollars so it can pass Star Wars?" I'm like, <laughs> "That is not. Why would you assume this number here? You guys can't see it, but why would you assume the million area is mm. like? Do you think maybe two thousand and two dollars? Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, uh, but I'm it's pretty very, crazy. I'm very ashamed." It's pretty crazy, and the most important thing about it is that, um, oh, also in this list, um, which is really interesting, three of them are science fiction-ish type of ones. Titanic is the only one that has nothing to do with space or time or anything. Uh, it is the only kind of documentary-ish style movie, which is also oh, kind of funny. Okay. Well, pseudo-documentary based on somewhat real effects and stuff. It's pretty funny. Um I don't think those numbers are going to happen. Uh, I'd be surprised if they happen for Avengers 4. I actually don't think that number... I don't think Avengers 4 is going to reach that number, to be perfectly honest. I hope it does, and I hope I'm wrong. I think I'm it's going to be like The Last Jedi. Okay. Well, not as bad, hopefully, but just number-wise. But before we go on, Joel Gon says, how much have I missed? We <clears> talked <throat> Hereditary. We did. And now we're talking about the four movies that made the... $2 billion club, Infinity War, Force mm-hmm. Awakens, Titanic, mm-hmm. and Avatar. Because uh, Infinity War crossed it mm-hmm. this past week, so it's pretty awesome. Um, let us know what your thoughts are. Uh, do you think Avengers 4 will beat that number? Uh, are you excited? Are you surprised? Are you, you know, so what? Do you care? All of that stuff is good. Somebody asked me where Black Panther was. Yeah, it's... Yeah, no. Well... <clears throat> it's, it's up there. It's, it's in... Top 10, I think. It's in... It is... I think it is top 10. Um, I we'll nine, have to actually, research it. it. I think it's going to be in that situation. There's that pool of movies that just are almost at that threshold, just didn't quite make it. 